Would you like to learn how to speed up how fast your web browser loads web pages? 100% free, no software to download, just a couple little tweaks. Stay tuned, I'll show you how. So before I explain this to you, a couple things you need to understand. You don't need to upgrade your internet, you don't even need to call your internet provider. Secondly, before I show you this tweak, it's important that you understand what it is that I'm showing you. Don't worry, I'm gonna make it super simple for you, so just bear with me a minute. So when you type something into your web browser, what you're actually doing is asking your web browser to communicate with your internet provider and return a website to that browser based on the name that you gave it, whether it's google.com or toyota.com or cnn.com or whatever. Every website in existence has what's known as a unique IP address. Think of it as an address like your house. It is a very specific, very unique address. No two websites have the same address. So the way that your web browser returns a website like Google or CNN.com to your web browser is through a process called DNS. The DNS stands for Domain Name Service. I don't want to get too terribly technical with it. What basically happens is your web browser communicates to your internet provider, whether it's Comcast or Cox Cable or whoever, and it says, bring me this domain, bring me this website. And so your internet provider has to then use what's called DNS to translate google.com or cnn.com into something that can be returned to your browser. So the way that that happens is your provider reaches out to their DNS servers which translate google.com into a series of numbers. And then it goes out and pulls that website to your browser based on those IP addresses. Now it's pretty technical how this all happens in the background, but the long story short is that DNS is how it happens. That's why you don't have to type in a string of numbers to get to Google or a string of numbers to get to CNN. You just type CNN.com and boom, it pops up on your screen. And that all happens in the background through a process called DNS. But sometimes when you have a smaller internet provider, their DNS servers have issues finding websites. So if you've ever had a problem where your internet is working, like say for example, you can stream Netflix, but your computer can't pull up CNN.com, a lot of the times that happens because of DNS. And it's when you're typing in a website, it takes forever. A lot of that is because DNS may be having issues. Your local provider, usually a smaller company, is going to have issues with the DNS translation, which means you can type in a website and when it just takes forever to come back because their DNS servers are either offline or overloaded and everything seems to be fine except that. That's why this video is important because you need to understand what that process is and I'm gonna show you how to make it faster. So when you type a website into your browser, your default DNS settings are those of your internet provider. But a lot of people don't realize you don't have to use your internet provider's DNS servers. But did you know that Google has free DNS servers that are more reliable and faster than your providers? So what I'm gonna show you today is how to quickly change your existing DNS servers to Google's free DNS servers to speed up the time that your web pages load. There's two main reasons you wanna use Google DNS over your internet providers. One is uptime. Google has a 99.9% .9 reliable uptime over the course of its lifetime, which means you are going to get consistent results. Google is not going to go down anytime soon, whereas your local provider may go offline and then you have no internet until it comes back online or they fix their DNS servers. Google's are always going to be running, so you're going to get more reliability. Two, Google, being the number one search engine in the world, has literally indexed every website in existence. So it already has records of all the websites out there, which means DNS translation is way faster than your providers. So when you type in a website, that whole DNS translation process that I spoke about earlier takes place in milliseconds. It's going to be much, much faster when it loads into your browser. So before you ask, no, this is not going to affect your internet connection. No, you're not breaking any rules. Yes, this is perfectly legal. People have been doing this since the dawn of the internet. As a matter of fact, your internet provider would prefer that you use Google's DNS servers. It means less workload on their hardware, less electricity for their machines to do this DNS translation for you, which means more profit for them. So they would rather you use Google's DNS. First thing, we need to know whether you're using IP4 or IP6. Now, what does it matter? It doesn't, but it is gonna be relevant here in a minute, and I'm gonna show you how, it's very simple. So what you're gonna do first is ping Google, very simple. You're gonna to go to your search box, you're gonna type in CMD, and then click on Command Prompt. 
type in ping space www.google.com. You will see a reply that comes back 142.285. something something, or you will see a big long string of numbers that starts with 200 usually. So if you see 142.285, etc., you're on IP4. If you see a big long string of letters and numbers as the address, then you're on IP6. So right now, just make a note of that. As you can see here, the free DNS servers from Google are different depending on whether you're using IP4 or IP6. This is why we want to check. So now go to your search bar and in that search bar type in control panel and click on that when it opens up. Click on network and internet and then click on network and sharing center. This should bring you to the network connection that you're currently using. On the left side, click on change adapter settings. This window will bring up all the existing wired and wireless connections that you have on your computer. All of the ones you are not using will have red X's next to them and the one that you're actively using you will either see no X or you will see a series of bars if you're on wireless. What you want to do is double click on that one that has not got the X's next to it. That's your active connection. Just double click it. Remember when I asked you about IP4 versus IP6? This is where it matters. Assuming you have IP4, scroll down until you see Internet Protocol version 4 and double click it. As you can see in this next window, your IP address and DNS are automatically assigned by your internet provider. So in the bottom part of the box, change it from obtain DNS automatically to use the following DNS addresses. Now you'll have a primary DNS and a secondary DNS. In the primary DNS, you're going to put 8.8.8.8 and then tab down to the secondary DNS and type in 8.8.4.4. Those are the primary and secondary DNS addresses for Google using IP4 protocol. If you have IP6, you need to put the IP6 DNS server information in the primary and secondary boxes. Now, I'll put those on the screen and also in the description below so you can copy them and paste them right into your network settings. And that's it. Click on OK. Click on OK again to close out all those windows. Now what we want to do is test to make sure that you are actually using the DNS servers from Google and not your provider. You're going to go back to your search bar. You're going to type in CMD and then click on Command Prompt again. Now at the Command Prompt, you're going to type in ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, space, forward slash, all, A-L-L, and then hit Enter. Now what it's going to do is it's going to pull up a lot of stuff. It's going to pull up all your network connections, but what you want to look for is usually the one at the very bottom. In this list you're going to see your IP address, you're going to see your default gateway, but you're also going to see your primary and secondary DNS. If you look and you see 8.8.8.8 for primary and 8.8.4.4 for secondary, you did it. That's it. There's nothing left to do. You're now using Google DNS. Now, start using your internet and notice if your pages load any faster. The good news is you just increase the speed at which your web pages are going to load. It costs you zero dollars and only a couple minutes of your time. If you change your mind, you want to go back to your provider's DNS, you just go back through these steps, go back to the network settings and change it to obtain DNS automatically. And in a couple seconds later, you're back to your internet provider. No harm, no foul. That's it. That's all you have to do. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more Windows tips and tricks, click on the playlist on the screen and you can watch more of my videos telling you how to tweak Windows or get the most out of Windows. If you'd like to be notified anytime I release new content, please consider subscribing. As a small creator, it helps my channel a ton and I appreciate every view. Please feel free to leave a comment below if any of these tips helped you or you do notice a significant increase in the speed at which your browser works. You might be surprised. I'd love to hear about it. So as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.